So in the two classes 6A and 6B, the number of girls was a hundred percent more than the number of the total number of boys. So the total number of girls was hundred percent more than the total number of boys. Okay, the ratio of boys to girls in 6A was 3 is to 4. So in 6A, boys to girls was 3 is to 4. Okay, in 6B, okay, the number of boys to girls was 1 is to 6. Okay, and uh, they tell you that uh, there are 8 more girls in 6A than in 6B. Find the number of pupils in 6A. Okay, because these are two totally different ratios, okay, we say that... Okay, let's call the first ratio units. Let's call the second ratio parts. Okay, so this one part is to six parts. So the number of boys to girls in 6A is three units is to four units. Alright, so this is how it works out. Okay, they tell you that the total number of girls is 100% more than the number of boys. So that means four units. Let's, let's count what the number of boys are. The total number of boys... is equivalent to 3 units and uh, 1 part ok now the boys is the base so the girls so the total number of girls in units and parts is uh, the total number of girls is 4 units and 6 parts now um, when they say that the girls are 100% more than the boys so total girls to total boys is actually so the boys is the base so let's assign 100% the boys the girls is 100% more, so it has to be 200%. So this is 2 is to 1. Okay, so there are two times. So in other words, okay, this statement means that there are twice as many girls as boys. Okay, so for comparison, can I multiply this by 2? So if I multiply by 2, Okay, let me just write here, multiply by 2. So when I multiply by 2, 3 units multiplied by 2 will get 6 units. I'll get 6 units. And um, 1 part multiplied by 2, I'll get 2 parts. Okay, so this, this here is equivalent to this. So four units plus six parts let's call it 6p and this is six units and this is two parts so if i were to translate this into the model can i can you see that here is two units all right can you see that 6 minus 4 okay so this section here Okay, it's two units. And also this section here happens to be 6p minus 2p, 6 parts minus 2 parts. This is equals to, okay, 4 parts. So can you see that 2 units is equivalent to 4 parts from the model on the left? Okay, 2 units is equivalent to 4 parts, therefore, one unit is equivalent to two parts. 
alright so there you go we can now convert units uh, into parts to make them equivalent ratios and then you can solve it accordingly so since one unit is equivalent to two parts so we got three units and four units here can I multiply by two so three times two will be six okay this is six parts okay is to eight parts alright okay maybe I should erase and uh, be neater about it so this is six parts how do I get six parts? three multiplied by two because one unit is equivalent to two parts okay and uh, four multiplied by two this is eight parts okay and uh, they tell you that there were eight more girls in 6a than in 6b let's look at the column that concerns girls so there are eight parts of girls in 6a and six parts of girls in 6b so 8 minus 6 is equals to two parts let's go on to the next page so 8 minus 6 equals to 2 so two parts is equivalent to eight, eight girls okay eight girls let us uh, double check scroll up again okay there were eight more girls in 6a yep there you go alright so look at the girl column eight parts there are six here so eight minus six is equals to two parts so two parts is representative of eight girls here okay because there were eight more girls in 6a than in 6b so one part is equivalent to 8 divided by 2 which is 4 pupils okay so the question asked find the number of pupils in 6a okay since how many parts are there all together in 6a 6 plus 8 which is 14 okay 6 plus 8 is equals to 14 alright so there are 14 parts all together alright 14 multiplied by 4 so 14 multiplied by 4 will give you 56 pupils okay so therefore there are 56 pupils in class 6a alright